Hello, it's Madison again. Um, thought I would show y'all what I'm doing today. I'm cooking and styling a feature for culture in my tiny kitchen, which you're already familiar with. Went to Whole Foods, got all of the stuff for the shoot. I'm obviously having to wash every, okay, those aren't for the shoot, those aren't just for me to eat. As far as cheese for today, we have a lot of extra sharp cheddar. This is the baguette station. Um, we have, oh, just three casual baguettes. Um, this whole bucket of hard boiled eggs, which I get to peel, I'm gonna really have so much fun and love doing that. Um, some pimentos and a ton of mayonnaise, like a disgusting amount of mayonnaise. Extra sharp cheddar plus mayo plus pimento. That equals a real good Southern treat. It's pimento cheese, if you didn't guess, it's pimento cheese. Okay, this recipe is super simple. It's by Virginia Willis, who is a chef and cookbook author based in the South. No surprise because pimento cheese is very Southern. We have um, a dozen hard boiled eggs that we've peeled. Um, I did them last night, so they were able to cool overnight in the refrigerator. Pimento peppers, um, this little can, and then you wanna drain them because otherwise they're gonna be all juicy when you dice them up. My 11, some prettier than other, hard boiled peeled eggs. Uh, we have the pimentos that are draining over here, getting ready to go. And then obviously just mayonnaise. Full disclosure, I've never made deviled eggs before. I've eaten a lot of them, but I never made them. So this is gonna be good. Carefully remove yolks. Doesn't say how, and I'm really nervous. So I also happen to have a collection of very small spoons because that's who I am. Um, so here's a <laughs> this teeny tiny spoon. All right, now it's time for what makes this pimento cheese in our pimento cheese deviled eggs. I'm grating a half cup of extra sharp cheddar and I'm gonna mix this with the egg yolks that I just separated and mayonnaise and some diced pimento, some, <laughs> some literally pimento cheese, some diced pimento peppers, some cayenne and salt and pepper. All right, so we have our cheese. Um, it's probably a little more than a half cup. I'll measure it when I add it in. Um, here are little pimentos with some egg flex in. And I'm just gonna roughly chop those. Two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. Um, you could use not whole grain. You could use the smooth, but I have whole grain, so that's what we're doing. Some unsalted butter. Um, I always buy unsalted butter because my mom taught me to. <laughs> so we're gonna need one tablespoon of this. Um, it should be at room temperature. This isn't quite there, so I'm just gonna hit it in the microwave real quick. Put it in there, gonna pop it in the microwave real quick. We're gonna add our mayonnaise, which is, ooh, a half cup of mayonnaise. Look at this. Fresh, as fresh as it comes. It's definitely not a diet recipe. It's a comfort food. Okay, we have our mayo, and then we're gonna add a half cup of cheese. I'm just gonna pretend this is a half cup. There we go. Oops, I melted it too much, that's okay. Ideally, that would have just been room temperature, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, butter is splashing everywhere. Um, okay, now we're gonna do the mustard. Okay, cannot find my teaspoon, so we're, this is a half teaspoon, so we'll just do four of these. I really like mustard, so I'm not, these aren't gonna be even measurements. Adding our pimentos. All right, this just calls for a pinch of cayenne. That feels like a pinch. And then I'm gonna mix that and then you'll season with salt and pepper to taste. So we'll do that at the very end. So we're almost ready to pipe this yummy filling into the empty whites. They're over there on my counter. Um, you can use a piping bag or ideally you would have a medium sized plastic bag. I don't really use the blocks anymore. I'm trying to be better to the environment. So I just have this small one. So I'm gonna do it in two batches. Um, but the best and easiest way to do this is just to open it and before you start putting the filling in here, you wanna fold down the edges. Um, this way, when you go to close it, once it has filling in it, you won't have like goopy filling here. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The moment you've all been waiting for, the finished products. Look at that, garnished with a gorgeous pimento pepper. Um, you don't have to do that if you're not really a fan of pimentos, but you should make this recipe if you're not a fan of pimentos. Um, I've already eaten three. I'm probably gonna eat this whole plate. Enjoy.